Good morning, everyone. A very good morning to all of you. I hope I am clearly audible and visible. So today we'll be starting with the urban settlement. And if you look at the syllabus, there is more focus on India, and the things that we'll be discussing will be equally important for world as well. But few of the perspective, like evolution, how it happened, and everything, the growth. is more important from the perspective of india and we'll be looking at that nishant beta a very good morning suman good morning khush rahiye vivan a very good morning i'm all good suman beta i'm at pink of my health like you can see so asutosh a very good morning so this is again going to be a very easy topic the only few aspects that i'll be highlighting and we'll be doing it in a manner so that you can write your answers easily we'll be formatting the write up and everything in a manner that will make things easier for you and this is a small chapter after today's discussion we'll be looking at a lot of theories okay theory is something that will take time khush rahiye aditya beta vikas khush rahiye A very good morning, everyone. Settle down so that we can start with this thing. Okay. So if we call something as urban, okay. So like we had seen that we talked about that the census defines an urban area but doesn't focuses on a definition for the rural area. But in general sense, an urban area is any compact settlement. Okay. a settlement which is very compact but very large in size when compared with the villages we call it as urban settlement okay bhavya beta very good morning k good morning so urban settlement is generally a compact and large settlement okay so the word generally is used it means that all the places which are compact and large are not necessarily urban area theek hai because some of the villages are very big and they are very compact but even the government has not accepted it as a urban area so they are not urban theek hai to isliye humne generally likha hai all nahi likha hai okay now if we look at some of the features like we had seen some of the characteristics which helped us to identify the rural area you can look for certain characteristics in an urban area as well okay you'll see that most of the people are engaged in non agricultural activities okay this is one feature rural area mostly urban yahan kya hai ki non agricultural ho jata hai waha agricultural hota hai theek hai now the rural area as such does not necessarily have a economic function but if we look at this area this has a defined economic function and mostly it has administrative function as well because a lot of things develop in an urban area so every urban area needs some administration to take care of the things that are being provided there so we often see that there is an administrative angle okay but i want all of you to know that it is not limited to these three things theek hai fir aisa nahi maan lenge ki yahi teen cheeze hongi to hoga kyunki bahut sare urban centers are like what they are centers where none of these specific things are visible okay but they developed as compact area plus they became large because some mode of transport was there okay it is a junction maybe okay or it is an area which is having some significance religious significance okay cultural significance it can also emerge as a big city 
so all the definitions that we talked about talk about is not limited to the things that we are writing here now okay there can be different forms that will be understanding but basic cheeze samjhane ke liye maine bataya hai dheeraj beta a very good morning uh nishant personally if somebody asks me i'll go with the hindu okay though indian express is also good and in fact indian express is taking effort to help people who are preparing for upsc okay so whatever you feel like is easy to comprehend and you can invest less time because you are appearing for mains this time so my first advice is if possible avoid it altogether for now okay just read the articles and cover the things from magazines because you have less time theek hai abhi ye wo time nahi hai jab aap newspaper pe shodh kare theek hai wo bahut hi galat tarika hoga kyunki aapke paas samay hi kam hai main se pehle okay to aap article pad lijiye aur kisi se bhi pad lijiye to develop an understanding which can help you in essay baki zyada abhi this is not the time when you invest a lot of time interview se pehle dil khol ke padhiye कोई दिक्कत नहीं है तब न्यूज़पेपर ही पढ़ना होता है बाकी तो पढ़ा हुआ होता है ओके बट दिस इज नॉट द टाइम ओके द अदर फीचर ऑफ एन अर्बन एरिया इज दैट दे आर फंक्शनली कनेक्टेड विद द रूरल एरियाज ओके दे आर फंक्शनली कनेक्टेड विद द रूरल एरियाज so this urban area is doing many functions it is providing many things which the rural people need so they'll come to this area to get those services those products that they cannot find in the village area theek hai jinko jo wahi pe nahi mil raha wo lene ke liye aa rahe hain to ye functionally it is always connected with the villages okay so this is clear वॉट इज एन अर्बन सेटलमेंट ये अर्बन सेटलमेंट को डिफाइन कर रहा है करने की कोशिश कर रहा है लाइक आई सेट देर इज नो स्पेसिफिक डेफिनेशन ओके नाउ इफ वी टॉक अबाउट ए टर्म विच इज मोर पॉपुलर अर्बनाइजेशन जब हम कहते हैं ओके अर्बन सेटलमेंट इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग एंड अर्बनाइजेशन अगेन इज अ डिफरेंट थिंग ओके वेन वी use the term urbanization if we tend to understand what urbanization is then this is some terminology which talks about the density of the population which lives in the urban area to ye population perspective se hum dekhte hain ki urbanization process hum keh rahe hain ya urbanization keh rahe hain so this is something percentage of the urban population to the total population okay it is indicative of परसेंटेज ऑफ अर्बन पॉपुलेशन रिलेटिव टू टोटल पॉपुलेशन ओके सो द टर्म defines this thing i hope everybody is clear okay now two factors which are very important in the urbanization process theek hai ye urbanization ho raha hai a percentage of urban population kaise badh raha hai how this is happening okay this is happening as the cities are expanding and why the cities are expanding because a lot of people are migrating to an area which was initially small ek chhota area hai wahan economic opportunities hai ya baki koi bhi opportunities hai okay a place which has more opportunities than the rural area and people are migrating to that area and in the process the area keeps on increasing in order to accommodate all the people who are reaching here okay so this is urban growth theek hai 
द ग्रोथ जब हम देखते हैं ओके सो माइग्रेशन लीडिंग टू एक्सपेंशन ऑफ द सिटी बाई इनकॉर्पोरेटिंग द सराउंडिंग एरिया ओके तो वो बहुत सारे विलेजेस को कंज्यूम कर जाता है इनकॉर्पोरेटिंग द सराउंडिंग एरिया ओके सो दिस इज वॉट वी हैव सीन विथ ऑल द सिटीज आपके यहां जो भी टाउन डेवलप हुआ है एनी टाउन एनी डिस्ट्रिक्ट हेडक्वार्टर इफ यू लुक एट इट हैज सब्ज्यूम्ड द रूरल एरियाज विच वे आर इन द सराउंडिंग बहुत सारे गांव आज क्या हो गए हैं वो शहर का पार्ट हो गए ओके सो इट कीप्स कंज्यूमिंग द सराउंडिंग एरिया इन इट इट कीप्स एक्सपैंडिंग दिस इज अनदर फीचर ऑफ द थिंग ओके सो दिस इज हाउ इट इज हैपनिंग थ्री की थिंग्स माइग्रेशन एक्सपेंशन एंड इनकॉर्पोरेशन ऑफ द सराउंडिंग एरिया ओके नाउ विल बी फोकसिंग ऑन the trends or the growth trends in india okay or the process of urbanization in india trends of urbanization in india so if you know harappan culture if you have heard of harappan culture then you must know that the history that we know of india it was an urban culture ठीक है जो हमारे यहां सिविलाइजेशन पहले निकली जो बनी वो एक अर्बन सिविलाइजेशन थी इन पास्ट वी वे आर हाईली डेवलप्ड सोसाइटी ओके वेर अर्बन एरियाज वेर देयर लॉट डेवलप्ड एरियाज वेर देयर बट इफ यू लुक एट द पीरियड ओके 5000 थाउजेंड ईयर्स है गो दिस इज समथिंग विच इज द टाइम ऑफ the harappan civilization that we lost okay it was lost due to the environmental changes we still this is a controversial view but most accepted view this is most accepted reason of the demise of the harappan civilization sabse zyada hum yahi mante hain but there was a large gap so we do not consider it as the first phase of urbanization in india okay the first phase of urbanization in india if we look at is the mauryan period okay first phase of urbanization generally we consider Mauryan period as that period okay and again if you look at this Mauryan period there is a gap of almost 1500 years when we again say that there was a urban evolution in india one more time and that was in the period of moguls okay they tried to develop some of the cities as centers of power okay so mughal period okay because there was a long gap so we do not consider harappan culture as the first phase theek okay? hai general consideration so kabhi kabhi aap terminologies kya hai high water mark in the urbanization in india first high water mark or and second water mark if there is a question which is usually asked in prelims you need to know we are talking about this not this because we lost the urban civilization that was 5000 years ago okay but agar hum baat karte hain in phases ki baat ka phase hamare liye zyada important hai we need to study this thing and will start from the 19th century because with the advent of the british empire 
इन इंडिया ठीक है अगर आप 1757 के बाद देखते हैं सो ब्रिटिश मोस्टली डिस्ट्रॉयड द अर्बन एरियाज आपको लगता है कि दे मेड सम ऑफ द सिटीज बट दे मेड द एरियाज एज देयर सीट ऑफ पावर मेनी टाइम्स दे यूज द ऑलरेडी एग्जिस्टिंग स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड इन ऑर्डर टू डिस्करेज द पीपल ऑफ इंडिया इन ऑर्डर टू सो दैट दे आर मोर सुपेरियर देन द इंडियंस दे डिस्ट्रॉयड मेनी ऑफ द एरियाज ओके so the first phase of india when we start with in the modern times with the advent of the british we call it as a period of decline of urbanization in india okay so phase 1 now let's divide it into certain phases if i talk about phase 1 okay the phase of urban decline like i said there are certain reasons behind this thing what more could have led to this aapko kya lagta hai urbanization aaj aap kis se associate karte hain the modern form of urbanization if we look at what was the most potent factor behind the urbanization process in india ye raja maharaja ke jo fort hote the wo urban area kyun hota tha okay because some of the products were sold there they were large market places okay so there though there was no industries in a modern sense but all the products that were made in different parts of that kingdom were used to be sold in the market which was nearby where the emperor or the king resided theek hai jahan raja rehta tha wahi sari kaam ki cheeze bikti thi and when british came what they did they destroyed all the craftsmen they destroyed all the things that were already existing so and there was no push from them towards the industrial process okay the british were not keen to give push to the industries in india and this was the reason that slowly whatever existed declined during the 19th century okay during 19th century so maybe you can have a small write up of the same thing that i have explained ha aastha beta very good morning ke economic infrastructure is why it is being developed administrative purpose ke liye kya hai modern sense mein hum dekhte hain to banaya gaya hai but mostly the driver of economic growth is industry theek hai wo primary industry ho secondary ho ya tertiary ho wherever the industry came into four we see that urban growth takes place okay so write down the british had a policy of keeping the industrial development low in india the british had the policy of keeping the industrial development low in india the british had the policy of keeping the urban development sorry industrial development low in india okay अभी यूजुअली क्या है जितने सपोर्टर है ब्रिटिश के बहुत सारे लोगों को आप सुनते हैं वो बोलते हैं कि ब्रिटिश नहीं आए होते रेलवे नहीं आया होता तो ग्रोथ नहीं होता बट यू हैव टू नो व्हेन दे इंट्रोड्यूस द रेलवे ओके दे ओनली कनेक्टेड दोज एरिया विच वे आर नेसेसरी फॉर रॉ मेटेरियल ठीक है तो कोई प्रोडक्शन ही नहीं हो रहा है तो इस वो डेवलपमेंट बहुत तेज नहीं कर सकता है ओके फुल स्टॉप के बाद लिखिए द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द रेलवे the introduction of the railways led to development of a small trading centers the introduction of the introduction of the railways led to the introduction of the railways led to development of a small trading centers small trading centers small trading centers which could not grow much which could not grow much okay so if we talk about the time period okay so the period 
and urban population. So during 1800 Sarka era, okay, 1800 Sarka era, the population which was urban was around 11% in India. Okay, by 1872, it reduced to 9%. Okay, so उनकी policy ऐसी थी कि railways तो develop हो रहे हैं. Okay, 1857 1853 से आप देखते हैं तो रेलवे का डेवलपमेंट अदर मीन्स ऑफ कम्युनिकेशन एंड एवरीथिंग बट दे वर नॉट एज इफेक्टिव एज सम ऑफ द हिस्टोरियंस मैं ठीक है ये फैक्ट इस चीज को प्रूव करता है नाउ 1870 ऑनवर्ड्स 1875 इफ यू नो दिस वाज अ पीरियड व्हेन इंडियन नेशनल मूवमेंट ओके वॉज लेड बाई द आई इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस का फॉर्मेशन हुआ and now the british were aware ki agar ab hum dhyan nahi dete okay things can go haywar ab cheeze khatarnak ho sakti hain log oppose karna start karenge so here starts the phase 2 that is of slow upward movement okay slow upward means movement means there was slow growth of urbanization and this started around 1875 to 1930s so you can see that even up to 1930s there was not much development okay bahut sara development nahi hua hai urbanization mein and if there is no urbanization you can understand that the very claims that these railways and everything was responsible for the fast development of india it was not true okay so this is a period when british were forced to think in the right direction as per the demands of the freedom fighters okay so they started focusing on the railways only lekin abhi bhi aisa nahi hai ki they wanted to develop india they wanted to place their armies at certain locations okay some cantonment area in a far flung area from where they can mobilize the army in need whenever they need to suppress the revolutionaries or to suppress the revolution which they feared okay so rapid development of the railways and mostly focused on developing hill stations hill stations pe kya hai गवर्नर जनरल रहते थे उनकी टुकड़ी रहती थी उनकी आर्मी रहती थी ओके सो दिस लेड टू सम डेवलपमेंट सो राइट डाउन द ब्रिटिश फियर्ड द ब्रिटिश फियर्ड ए रेवल्यूशन इन इंडिया द ब्रिटिश फियर्ड द रेवल्यूशन इन इंडिया एंड हेंस एंड हेंस they started developing the railways fast and hence they started developing the railways at a greater pace started developing the railways at a greater pace in order to the greater pace in order to mobilize the army whenever needed in order to mobilize the army whenever needed whenever needed full stop this is also a period this is also a period where a lot of towns were developed in hill stations when a lot of ty when a lot of towns were developed in the hill stations in himalayas in himalayas and in south india and in south india which again which again served as places which again served as places 
where the units of army can be garrisoned which again served as the areas where the units of army can be garrisoned or stationed units of army can be stationed okay नाउ इफ यू लुक एट दिस पॉप तो यहां वाली स्टेज पे पहुंच रहे हैं ओके बाय बाय नाइनटीन हंड्रेड बाय द फर्स्ट डिकेड ऑफ नाइनटीन हंड्रेड बाय द फर्स्ट डिकेड ऑफ नाइनटीन हंड्रेड अगेन द अर्बन पॉपुलेशन ग्रू टू इलेवन परसेंट Again, the urban population grew to eleven percent, and India had twenty-five cities. And India had twenty-five cities with more than one lakh population. With more than one lakh population. ओके ट्रेंड्स कैन बी आस डायरेक्ट क्वेश्चन पूछा गया है पास्ट में फिर पूछा जा सकता है ओके नाउ 1930s टू 1947 ओके दिस इज अ पीरियड आफ्टर इकोनॉमिक डिप्रेशन पीपल वेर फ्रस्ट्रेटेड वर्ल्ड ओवर और अब क्या है कि बहुत सारे मूवमेंट लेड बाय गांधी जी revolutionaries everyone was active now they feared okay and the thing that they were doing in the past that they were completely neglecting the indian industrialist wo inhone band kiya they lessened that thing and they, now the indian industrialist started getting some support from them but most of the support again was from the indians only ऐसा नहीं है कि बहुत ज्यादा हेल्प करने लगे बट दिस वॉज कंपेरेटिवली रैपिड ग्रोथ दिस इज फेज थ्री कंपेरेटिवली रैपिड ग्रोथ दिस पीरियड सो राइट डाउन this is a period which experienced which witnessed this is a period which witnessed the growth of indian industries the growth of indian industries this is a period which witnessed the growth of indian industries which in turn gave impetus which in turn gave impetus or push matlab tej kar diya thoda which gave impetus to the urbanization process to the urbanization process and at the time of independence 17% of the indian population 17% lived in urban areas and at the time of independence 17% of the indian population lived in urban areas with four With four million plus cities, ठीक है traditional metros जिसे हम कहते हैं okay, Delhi, Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata, okay, and 76 cities 
with more than 1 lakh population. More than 1 lakh population. Okay. So at the time of independence, you can see that there was only 17% of the population that was living in the cities. Okay. Now phase four, of course, India got independence, rapid urbanization, post-independence. Okay, post independence. The population also grew much faster. Isli agar aaj ki date pe it is around 34 percent. Iska matlab bahut jada log reh rahe urban areas mein. At that point in time, the population was also less because of the thing. Okay, ab ye urbanization process kaise post independence bada urban population suddenly we see that there was a growth spurt aaj ki date mein agar hum 2011 census ko dekhte hain okay so it says that 31.16 percent urban population but this is a huge population as share of the total population If you look at the numbers, it is many fold increase. Because our population is very much increased. Okay, so rural areas may be population explode. Hua. So, this is relatively figure is a little bit less. But numbers may you will see actual numbers. It is very high. Okay, so rapid urbanization. 1947 may urban population achanak jump kar gaye. Okay, because India was divided. Okay, India was divided from Pakistan, a huge population came to India, okay? so-called Bangladesh, ye bhi East Pakistan tha us samay. Again, a huge population came to India. And if you look at the makeup, at the time of the partition of India and Pakistan, most of the population which started moving from Pakistan, they were not allowed to stay in other states, they directly came to Delhi. Thikha, Delhi ki population achanak bad gai. Kolkata ki population achanak bad gai. Because in most of the rural areas, the people who are residing in the rural areas, they have already claimed the land. Because kuch log jo gai, unke aadhe rishtedar yehi rahe gai, unhone kaha, mere rishtedar ki jameen hai, meri hai. Okay? So, influx of the refugees, especially in Delhi and Kolkata, okay, increased the population, urban population. So, you have first point, influx of refugees from Pakistan, Bangladesh, to Delhi and Kolkata respectively. Okay. So population of these two cities suddenly increased. Okay. Now, when India got independence and we have re reorganization of the states, the second thing that happened in India was reorganization of the states and a need was felt for new administrative towns abhi naye state banenge to unka capital bhi koi banega So, Bhubaneswar, Chandigarh, 
एटसेट्रा इमर्ज ठीक है जैसे जैसे आपके नए स्टेट बने तो हर को कैपिटल चाहिए सो न्यू बिग सिटीज स्टार्टेड टू बी डेवलप्ड ओके नाउ इंडिया वॉज अ कंट्री वेयर इंडस्ट्रियलाइजेशन वॉज स्लो एंड इफ यू हैव रेड हिस्ट्री और इकोनॉमी यू आर ऑलरेडी अवेयर दैट द इनिशियल फोकस इन द फाइव ईयर प्लान वॉज टू डेवलप इंडस्ट्रीज सो इन ऑर्डर टू डेवलप द इंडस्ट्री सम ऑफ द इंडस्ट्रियल सिटीज केम इन टू बिंग ओके सो इमरजेंस ऑफ न्यू इंडस्ट्रीज led to development of cities okay like bhilai theek hai bhilai jo shahar hai ye kya hai industry bana isliye ye bana durgapur steel industries jahan jahan bane salem okay so lot of towns and cities came into being because of the industrial process okay now the efficient development of the multimodal transport system the road network and everything okay this also helped in the development of many cities because of the connectivity that emerged theek hai ab bahut sare area connect ho gaye to beech mein bahut bade bade shahar emerge karne lage so the development of multimodal transport system multimodal is various modes of transportation ki baat ho rahi hai shipping railway okay roadways multimodal transport system transport network gave philip to the gave pus or philip theek hai various policies of the government you can talk about you can talk about how some of the private entities theek hai private cities develop hone lage gated towns develop hone lage ओके okay, सोसाइटीज जो आज शहर के बाहर बनती है वो क्या है एक तरह से टाउन को बड़ा करती जा रही है सिटीज को बड़ा करती जा रही है ओके फिर लुक एट ग्रेटर नोएडा फरीदाबाद सो दीज आर डेवलपमेंट्स लाइक व्हाट प्राइवेट सेक्टर वांटेड टू गेट सम एरिया वेर दे कैन डू दिस थिंग गाजियाबाद इवन ठीक है इंडस्ट्रियल सेटअप दिल्ली से बाहर निकाला तो गाजियाबाद और ज्यादा डेवलप हो गए सो दिस इज यू कैन टॉक अबाउट द रोल ऑफ private sector okay in development of urban areas okay it was not only government which was doing some of the private sector they also started developing private townships theek hai bahut sare private townships hain bade shahar ke andar hi ek private township okay gated cities okay so you need to mention these factors whenever you are talking about india okay now if we look at all the things still if we look at 2011 census hame kya pata chalta hai 31.16 is lot less when compared with others okay bahut hi kam hai world mein average urbanization is 43% percent. ओके, okay. सो so, अगर आप चाहें तो एग्जाम में इस चीज को देखिए समय बचाने के लिए क्या है ना बहुत सारी कहानी नहीं लिखनी होती है ओके इन एग्जाम व्हाट यू नीड टू डू इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग सच बिग स्टोरी जस्ट सो यूरोपियन इन्वेजन ओके एंड देन अर्बनाइजेशन वाज मोर और लेस बिफोर यूरोपियन इन्वेजन भी क्या है बहुत ज्यादा नहीं था एंड you can show something like this that it kept increasing and some of the time periods that we talked about to isko maan lenge 1800 hai okay 
यहाँ पे क्या है एटीन सेवेंटी टू लाइक वी टॉक्ड अबाउट दिस इज मे बी नाइनटीन थर्टी नाइनटीन फोर्टी सेवन और इसको ऐसा ऐसा करके यहाँ पे लेट से ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री कर लीजिए ओके एंड यू कैन पुट द फिगर्स दैट वी हैव सीन ओके नाइनटीन सेवेंटी एटीन सेवेंटी टू इट वॉज अराउंड नाइन परसेंट 11 परसेंट ओके तो ग्राफ बहुत सारा इंफॉर्मेशन क्या है क्लियरली शो कर देता है 17 परसेंट एंड दिस इज अप्रॉक्सिमेटली 34 परसेंट एज ऑफ नाउ ओनली सेंसस डेटा विल कंफर्म इफ इट इज मोर देन दैट बट अप्रॉक्सिमेटली दिस इज द थिंग दैट वी नो ओके और यहीं पे आप क्या है यू कैन टॉक अबाउट द रीजन एज वेल इन एग्जाम वेन यू हैव लेस टाइम ओके नो ब्रिटिश सपोर्ट टू इंडस्ट्रियल नो ब्रिटिश support for industry okay in exam you need to be smart okay you pura kahani likh ke kya karenge this graph enough space okay yahan rapid railway development plus wahan pura development likhenge dv is not a good idea okay so rapid railway development plus hill stations okay many a times you'll find a question where this will be only part of your answer so people who are smart enough they tend to convert these words into graphs okay so that you can present a lot of information in less area again the other reason yahan pe likh denge other reason yahan to zyada space hai iske baad wala yahan likh denge and you are done ओके सिंपल ग्राफ ओके दिस इज टाइम पीरियड यहां पे एक टाइम पीरियड का सिंबल बनाएंगे ऐसा एंड दिस इज अर्बन डेवलपमेंट और अर्बनाइजेशन दैट्स इट द होल थिंग दैट यू हैव रिटर्न इज इन दिस ग्राफ ओके विथ लिमिटेड वर्ड्स सो इट इज ऑलवेज इंपॉर्टेंट दैट इन एग्जाम यू प्ले स्मार्ट ओके नॉट दैट बच्चा विच इज लाइक नोटबुक में ऐसा रट्टा मारा सो यू हैव टू बी इनोवेटिव यू वांट टू स्कोर मोर मार्क्स यू गॉट टू मेक श्योर दैट यू आर मोर इनोवेटिव व्हेन कंपेयर्ड विद अदर्स ओके बट इंडिया इज वन ऑफ द लीस्ट अर्बनाइज्ड एरियाज ऑफ द वर्ल्ड वन ऑफ द लीस्ट अर्बनाइज nations in world okay the world average is approximately 43% okay in fact more than this and india is 31.16 only okay if we talk about some of the regions countries continents kuch bhi maan lijiye and urbanization percentage okay so north america if we talk about as a whole 78% hai north america 78% okay so this is don't you think it is lot more than what india has एशिया की भी अगर हम बात करते हैं एज ए होल तब भी ये हमसे ज्यादा है 35 परसेंट एंड वर्ल्ड एवरेज तो हमने देखा ही है सो यू कैन सी दैट व्हेन वी कंपेयर विद एशिया और इवन नॉर्थ अमेरिका ब्राजील को अगर हम देखते हैं कंट्री ही देख लेते हैं ओके okay, 75 परसेंट डेवलपिंग कंट्री भी अगर आप देखते अगेन इट इज मच हायर देन व्हाट इंडिया हैज ओके सो दिस इज अनेरियो इन इंडिया बट यू हैव टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट इफ वी थिंक ओनली ऑफ द अर्बन पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इंडिया इट इज मच हायर देन द टोटल पॉपुलेशन ऑफ मेनी कंट्रीज रूरल एरिया को बोल जाइए हमारे यहां अर्बन एरिया में इतने ज्यादा लोग रहते हैं 
it is much more than the population of many countries of the world okay so comparing with some of the even developing countries we see that we are not even near to what we should be okay so everybody is clear with this even brazil ko agar aap dekh rahe hain to humse bahut zyada achhi halat hai urbanization mein but quality of life is not as good as in indian cities okay so social sphere the facilities that india is providing to its urban population is lot more than what some other developing countries are providing to their own citizens okay wahan population zyada urban area mein rehti hai that's it okay now we'll look at the classification of indian towns traditional way of classification okay traditional classification like i said i'll cover this segment in a manner so that you will know exactly what to write in gs and what to write in optional so this classification we are looking from the perspective of general studies ओके ऑप्शनल में क्या है आपको जब क्लासिफिकेशन पूछेगा तो देल स्पेसिफाई कि व्हाट काइंड ऑफ क्लासिफिकेशन दैट दे वांट सो विल बी डूइंग इट विद द हेल्प ऑफ सम ऑफ द थ्योरीज ओके इन दिस आल्सो आई एम गोइंग टू इंडिकेट हाउ थ्योरीज आर इफेक्टिव बट ए जनरल क्लासिफिकेशन ए जनरल थिंग विल बी डिस्कसिंग फर्स्ट ओके हाउ दे डेवलप एंड आई कीप I'll help you to connect with some of the theories. कि इसमें कौन सी theory लग रही है वो भी मैं यही बताऊंगा But the detailed theory we'll see later. Okay, it is for general understanding. Theory वाला नाम क्या है Do not write in GS. In optional you have to write about it. Okay. Now we can divide basically the Indian towns into ancient, medieval, and modern towns. ठीक है हम तीन हिस्से में बांट सकते हैं इसको So if we look first we'll look at the ancient towns okay so ancient towns kaise towns hai the towns which are more than 2000 years old and they are having a long history of existence more than 2000 years old and have long history of existence okay so these are the towns which are very old if you talk about varanasi you talk about madurai okay you are talk about patna or it was earlier known as patliputra so these are all towns which have a history of more than 2000 years okay so these all towns are termed as ancient towns okay and all of them they developed as religious and cultural religious and cultural centers inka jo emergence hai wo religious aur cultural hai okay they developed as cultural centers as religious centers okay so prayagraj varanasi ayodhya patliputra all the names okay so most of the religious centers of today that you know they developed as these kind of towns ha huh, dheeraj beta very good okay so they developed as cultural centers so what kind of makeup they could have inka makeup kaisa hoga 
okay so whole of the town developed around the religious center okay so the development of was around the religious or cultural center so if you look at the center of the development yahan pe kya hai yahan pe aapka temple hoga mostly okay so the center was always a temple okay and who will have access to this temple agar aap past mein dekhte hain what do you think who will have access to these temples the people who will have access to the temple are the priest यहां पे कौन रहेगा प्रीस्ट और मे बी सम बिजनेसमैन जो जिनकी कुछ दुकानें हो ओके प्रीस्ट रूलिंग क्लास ओके सबसे पहले वाले में नाउ okay this is the second one yahan pe kya hai aapke pure businessman craftsman basically the middle class this is ruling class or high class ओके फर्स्ट वाले में वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट दिस एरिया नाउ सेकंड एरिया बिजनेसमैन दिस इज मिडिल क्लास एंड नाउ इन द आउटर एरिया ओके इन द आउटर एरिया द पीपल हु लिव्ड वेर द पीपल हु प्रोवाइडेड द सर्विसेज लाइक वॉशरमैन ओके, सो जो सर्विसेज दे रहे हैं सर्विस प्रोवाइडर सो दिस इज द लोअर क्लास सबसे बाहर जो रहेगा दिस इज लोअर क्लास इसको आप समथिंग लाइक दिस ओके दो आई हैव रिटर्न इन दिस मैनर इन एग्जाम यू नीड टू डू दिस थिंग ओके okay, और ऐसा करके यहां यहां इंडेक्स बना के लिखेंगे इट लुक्स गुड ओके एंड द मॉडल दैट वी हैव ट्राइड टू डेवलप फॉर द एनिशियन टाउन ओके दिस टाइप ऑफ सर्कुलर स्ट्रक्चर वेर द सेंटर वाज इंपॉर्टेंट एंड पीपल रिसाइडेड इन द सराउंडिंग बेस्ड ऑन द क्लासेस ओके दिस वाज गिवन एज कॉन्सेंट्रिक model of burgess this setup is very close to concentric model of burgess we'll read this concentric model i'm giving you the reference here only so that from the initial phase only this name is स्टेज इन योर माइंड वेन वी विल स्टार्ट विद दिस एटलीस्ट यूल नो कि ये वाला एग्जाम्पल हम दे सकते हैं वहां ओके द सेटअप इज वेरी क्लोज टू द कॉन्सेंट्रिक मॉडल ऑफ बर्गस एंड इफ द सेम क्वेश्चन इज आस्ट इन जी एस इस चीज को छोड़ के बाकी बना देंगे ओके इन जनरल स्टडीज ऑल्सो यू कैन डू दिस थिंग बट डोंट राइट दिस इन जी एस इन ऑप्शनल यू गॉट टू राइट दिस ठीक है टॉपिक अलग अलग कहीं नहीं आ रहा है यूजली होता क्या है कि हम सेम चीजों को ज्यादा इफेक्टिवली जीएस में लिख सकते हैं अगर आप ऑप्शनल में पढ़ रहे हैं ओके 
बट हम थ्योरिस्ट का नाम नहीं लिखेंगे इन जी एस बट इन ऑप्शनल यूल मैं दिस थिंग ओके नाउ लेट अस मूव टू द मेडिवल टाउन नाउ मेडिवल टाउन्स की अगर हम बात करते हैं मेडिवल पीरियड इफ यू लुक एट वॉट काइंड ऑफ एनवायरमेंट वॉज देयर दिस वॉज ए पीरियड ऑफ किंग्स एंड एम्पायर्स ओके नाउ रिलीजन एंड कल्चर वॉज इंपॉर्टेंट इट ऑलवेज वेर इंपॉर्टेंट इन द हिस्ट्री ऑफ एवरी कंट्री ऑफ द वर्ल्ड बट समाइम्स द रूलर्स वेर सो पावरफुल दैट दे इंफ्लुएंस्ड द रिलीजियस पीपल द रिलीजियस पीपल वेर एसोसिएटेड विद द people in seat of power okay but they were not in a position to defy past mein kya hai religion itna tagda tha ki wo rulers ko bhi dara deta tha but medieval period now the rulers became so powerful ki wo religion se darte nahi the but follow karte hue chalte the because they knew ki people in the name of religion okay this is sentiment and people can revolt against the ruler as well if you'll try to touch the religion okay so in this period the headquarters of the kingdom emerged as the medieval towns okay of the kingdoms and empires emerged as medieval towns okay now this is a period when the things were much more organized the central place was a fort jahan pe raja rehta tha okay wo pura kya hai aap delhi aayenge almost circular hai okay agra jayenge almost circular hai और द फोर्ट वॉज लाइक रेक्टेंगल और स्क्वायर इफ यू गो टू जयपुर इंडियन रूलर्स जो दिल्ली और आगरा में थे मुगल्स का आप देखेंगे द सेंट्रल प्लेस वॉज मोर और लाइस इलिप्टिकल और सर्कुलर ओके बट इफ यू गो टू राजस्थान यूल सी दैट दिस इज द फोर्ट इज सम वॉट रेक्टेंगुलर ओके एंड देन द फोर्ट वॉज द एरिया वेर द किंग रेसाइडेड फोर्ट में कौन रहता है राजा रहता है किंग और द रूलर ठीक है फोर्ट के अंदर रूलर रहता है एंड ऑल द नोबल मैन सेकेंड में कौन है द हायर क्लास ओनली नियर बाई कौन रहता है द हाई क्लास नोबल्स ठीक है राजा के मंत्री एंड सो दिस इज रेसिडेंस ऑफ इंफ्लुएंशियल पीपल okay so residents of influential people if you look at rajasthan also again you'll see that the second layer is residents of the influential people and here onwards the people who settled were not settling in similar fashion iske baad wali layer mein agar aap dekhenge okay the people who used to settle दे यूज टू सेटल बेस्ड ऑन सोशियो कल्चरल इंफ्लुएंस तो ये जो सेप बनता था ओके दिस वॉज नॉट सेम ऑलवेज इट यूज टू बी डिफरेंट ओके बिकॉज सोशियो कल्चरल इंफ्लुएंस वॉज मच मोर सो दे लुक द लाइक सेक्टर्स कभी कभी गैप भी होता था दो कम्युनिटीज एक साथ नहीं रहेंगी सो दीज आर सेक्टर्स बेस्ड ऑन सोशियो कल्चरल इंफ्लुएंस ओके ऑल द सिपॉइज लेट से जो सर्व करते थे वो यहां रहते हैं ऑल द वॉशरमैन लेट से दे लिव हियर ओके द बिजनेस मैन आर लिविंग हियर सम अदर सर्विसेस मे बी 
service providers they live here so we see that the growth was not exactly circular after the this thing okay residents of influential people ke bahar kya hai kuch kuch sectors ban jate the sometimes they were close sometimes they were small sometimes they were big so different kind of sectors developed okay so this is a period where the structure changed based on the services like i said this is more common in delhi agra ye delhi aur agra mein hai this is like jaipur udaipur okay so whenever you are talking in terms of indian cities ओके okay, मॉडल से दिखाना है हमें ऑप्शनल में सेकंड पेपर में आ जाता है तो यहां पे आपको मेंशन करना है द मेडिवल टाउन वेर मिक्स ऑफ द कॉन्सेंट्रिक मॉडल एंड सेक्टोरल मॉडल लेटर विल स्टडी बट यहीं पे एक लाइन लिख लीजिए जो जीएस में नहीं लिखेंगे यू हैव टू मेंशन दिस लाइन इन ऑप्शनल बट नॉट इन जनरल स्टडीज ओके द मेडिवल टाउन in india seem to be a mix of concentric model and sectoral model ye model hum padhne wale hain okay i'm just giving you the name so that at least abhi aapke dimag mein याद हो जाएगा मॉडल्स का नाम अंदर क्या है विल डिस्कस लेटर ओके सो एवरीबडी सो सर्विस प्रोवाइडर्स बेस्ड ऑन सोशो कल्चरल इथनिसिटी बिकॉज यू मस्ट नो दैट इफ यू लुक एट द मेडिबल पीरियड ठीक है आपने पढ़ा होगा डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ किंगडम्स सो जो अफगानिस्तान से आए वो डिफरेंट थे जो तुर्कमेनिस्तान से आए डिफरेंट थे ओके सो पीपल हु coming from different parts of the world they did not used to live together okay people from africa they also used to come to india and reside so socio cultural differences were there and they used to live in their own colonies this was the setup in that period okay now we'll talk about the modern towns in this chapter we'll be looking at various models theek hai world mein kahan kahan different models bane hain sara hum padhenge in the next lecture okay now modern towns is when the british started developing the towns okay From, with the advent of the british to india okay now it can also be divided into two phases pre independence towns and post independence towns in pre independence initially the british were fearful and they were always fear fearful agar aap delhi ko bhi dekhte hain कोलकाता को भी देखते दे ऑलवेज फियरफुल ओके सो द ब्रिटिश वेर ऑलवेज अबाउट कमर्शियलाइजेशन ऑफ द लैंड यूज एक कॉमन फीचर जो दिखता है ओके okay? इसमें हमें कमर्शियलाइजेशन ऑफ लैंड यूज दिखता है segregation of the residence area of of the british and the indians
okay the fear of revolution is also visible theek hai unke dar bhi dikhai deta hai they always feared that at certain point in time indians are going to throw our rule ye clearly dikhai deta hai okay so they always develop areas in a city there were two type of areas okay so ek ko wo kehte the black town black town is like indians resided weavers aapke boatsman caste based settlement sab dikhenge isme okay weavers washer boats boatsman okay religion and caste based settlement and now this is white town okay again white towns if we look at it included the europeans ka alag alag ho sakta french or british honge theek hai do char french honge 10 12 british honge aisa bhi ho sakta hai so this is basically the settlement for the europeans but mostly dominated by the british and an area was left open ise wo bulate the maidan maidan or open ground it was basically a line of fire okay yahan pe wo kya karte the they used to leave spies some of the spies who will inform them the moment there is even talk of an uprise or revolution so this line of fire was used for some of the guns and tanks so sepoys were always here jaise hi revolution ki baat hogi to yahan se goli maro nazdeek pahunchne se pehle hi maar dal okay so line of fire an open ground a maidan ha ke beta bahut sari jagahon pe explained hai so they always had a line of fire तो अभी ऑप्शनल में रीजन चेंज हो जाएंगे ऐसा नहीं है ओके ओके एंड इट वर ऑलवेज फोर्टिफाइड दीवारें बना के ये रखते थे ओके बट दिस इज समथिंग विच स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम बंगाल ऑफ कोर्स बैटल ऑफ प्लासी के बाद वो क्या है बंगाल में इन्होंने किया देन दे स्टार्टेड डूइंग दिस थिंग ओके and after some time okay after gaining confidence they started settling outside as well okay but they always wanted to have an open area for example when the mughal they captured the mughal they took the red fort so everything which was around red fort was cleared because they created the civil lines agar aap delhi ka example lete hain okay so here let's say this was the red fort okay this was red fort so all the area surrounding the red fort it was cleared okay and here they developed civil lines rajiv chowk ke naam se aaj aap jante hain is jagah ko okay this is center is civil lines this is road all the area is connected with the roads okay so civil lines faster communication if any type of activity starts here then this acted as line of fire okay everything was demolished 
नाउ दिल्ली में कहीं जगह नहीं बची है तो ये एरिया भी घेर लिया गया है बट अंटिल एंड अनलेस दे रूल्ड ओके दे कैप्ट दिस एरिया ओपन सो दैट इफ देर इज एनी काइंड ऑफ एक्टिविटी विच इज एंटी द एंटी गवर्नमेंट द ब्रिटिश गवर्नमेंट देन दे गेट द क्लियर साइट एंड दे कैन अटैक ओके नाउ पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंस टाउन तो हम देख ही चुके हैं रीजन क्या है और कैसा है दे आर मॉडर्न पोस्ट इंडिपेंडेंस टाउन if we talk about the post independence towns in india these are either administrative centers industrial centers to ye purpose based hai okay administrative centers industrial centers business centers okay ट्रांसपोर्ट हब्स एंड एवरीथिंग तो हम ये आगे डिटेल में देखेंगे मैनेजेबल है एवरीबडी इज लाइक हाउ इट डेवलप्ड मैनुफैक्चरिंग टाउन लुधियाना एंड ऑल सो यू कैन गो ऑन मैनुफैक्चरिंग टाउन ट्रांसपोर्ट टाउन okay so you can go on we'll see a lot of them to wo aage ki information se you can add okay so this is the basic development of the cities that we had seen in past okay aur isse bhi zyada aage jane ke baad kya ho gaya some of the cities became so big that the concept of satellite towns came into place okay in order to support the main town okay for example around delhi you have faridabad you have gurgaon you have ghaziabad okay these setups settlements developed so lot more settlements big towns started emerging around this so we'll look at various type of cities the modern cities theek hai aaj ke date mein bahut alag alag tarike ke cities ho gaye so we'll look at the kind of cities we have in india we'll look at the very modern concepts of cities like edge cities jo ki india mein abhi dikhai nahi de raha hai okay to us mein dikhai de raha hai some parts of europe we can talk see those things so we'll talk about all of that okay and these cities it is easy to talk about them okay administrative centers bhubneshwar chandigarh humne bhi dekha hai industrial centers after independence if we talk about you have jamshedpur durgapur manufacturing towns ludhiana is a classic example transport town bhusawal okay and satellite towns like i said faridabad ghaziabad noida popular ones okay you can mention them ab ye satellite town rohtak ko bhi aap maan sakte in fact it is not very near to delhi but now the faridabad is big gurugram is big so now the next satellite has to be some area which is far okay so even rohtak so everybody is clear now this is the development of the cities urban area in india we have seen but if we look from the perspective of census census ke perspective se city kya hai ya town kya hai what is a town from the perspective of census theek hai ye definition bachpan se aapne padhi hai bataiye jaldi jaldi census concept of urban areas of india ओके एंड द नेम्स यहां पे दो नाम लिख लीजिए मित्रा जैन ओके सो विल सी कि ये क्लासिफिकेशन जो है वो कहां से आता है तो बस ये दो नाम लिखिए आई एक्सप्लेन द होल थ्योरी गिवन बाय मित्रा एंड जैन लेटर ओके 
बिकॉज इन एग्जाम यू हैव टू गिव सम रेफरेंसेज ऑफ द पीपल हु अबाउट इट तो वो भी हम डिटेल में देखेंगे बट अगर जीएस में आ जाता है तो थिंकर का नाम नहीं लिखेंगे बाकी एग्जैक्टली यही लिखेंगे काम हो जाएगा आपका हाँ धीरज बेटा यू कैन टॉक अबाउट दैट नाउ सेंसस कॉन्सेप्ट सो वॉट इज द क्राइटेरिया दैट सेंसस यूजेज इट यूजेज वेरियस क्राइटेरिया ओके यूजली वेन वी टॉक अबाउट द सेंसस कॉन्सेप्ट वी सिंपली थिंक दैट द थिंग दैट The census has given that minimum population should be five thousand. The density of population should be four hundred per square kilometer. More than seventy five percent male population in agriculture, non agricultural activities. That is something which was devised based on certain criteria. ठीक है जो आप सीधे सीधे ये तीन चीजें हैं ऐसा सोचते हैं. That that came into being. because of certain things which were kept into considerations okay criteria derived after considering okay this is based on the population size and population density ये आपको डायरेक्टली पता है ओके ओके प्लस दो इट इज नॉट स्पेसिफिकली मैं बट वेन एवर द सेंसस इज प्रिपेरिंग द डेटा ऑफ द टाउन्स इट कीप्स इन टू कंसिडरेशन द इकोनॉमिक एक्टिविटीज हाउ मच परसेंटेज ऑफ वॉट इज देयर ओके नॉट ओनली इन टर्म्स ऑफ non agricultural it divides the towns into how much primary activity is there how much secondary activity is there and how much tertiary activity is there okay ki kitna primary is like related to agriculture secondary is manufacturing tertiary is services to usko alag se census mein prepare kiya jata hai jo ki aapka jo basic criteria usme dikhai nahi de raha okay but if we look at the thing the census prepares the data about how much primary how much secondary and tertiary activities is there okay hum usually bachcho ko padhane ke liye normal people in order to make an average indian understand ki how it is being done you have three criteria of the population non agriculture and agriculture and the density okay ha now सोशल बिहेवियर सोशल डिस्टेंस वैल्यू सिस्टम तो सोशल एस्पेक्ट इज ऑल्सो टेकन इन टू कंसिडरेशन वट काइंड ऑफ सोसाइटी इज दैट टाउन वेदर पीपल मिंगल इजिली ओके वॉट वैल्यू सिस्टम दे हैव ये तो बैकग्राउंड वर्क जो है वो काफी होता है जो आप पढ़ते हैं नॉर्मल पार्लेंस में हम पढ़ते हैं वो अलग चीज है ओके सोशल बिहेवियर सोशल डिस्टेंस एंड द गवर्नमेंट आल्सो लुक्स इनटू व्हाट इज द मॉर्फोलॉजी ऑफ द सिटी लेआउट ऑफ द सिटी हाउ मेनी हॉस्पिटल्स आर देयर हाउ मेनी schools are there how many buildings are there okay so morphology and infrastructure schools hospitals other buildings how many commercial buildings are there okay how many residential buildings are there how many parks are there 
okay so it records more or less everything whenever they are coming to this criteria they are recording everything related to this plus what are the functions that the city is performing okay does it have only administrative function or along with the administrative function it is also a commercial hub or it has it is acting as a transport hub okay so all such data is collected in the census theek hai har type ka data wo collect karte hain jo ki public domain mein available bhi hai but mostly people tend to look for the direct criteria ki ek shahar aur gaon mein antar kya hai to wo hum dekhte hain but as a student of geography you have to know that lot of work is done when the government is doing census of the urban areas okay now so based on this they come there is a general definition of the urban area okay now we'll look at the general definition as per census okay so it is not like a simply a town if you look at some of the places which are governed by the army for example cantonment theek hai some of the areas are called as corporation some of the areas are called as municipality okay some of the areas are called as notified town areas so again the government comes up with different type of definitions ओके सेवेंटी फोर्थ अमेंडमेंट एक्ट जब आप पॉलिटी में पढ़ते हैं ओके दिस यूल रीड इन पॉलिटी इन लॉट डिटेल जिन्होंने नहीं पढ़ा है आप पढ़ने वाले हैं ओके सो दिस मेंशन वेरियस डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ टाउन ओके द म्यूनिसिपैलिटी corporation we talk about cantonment okay inka governance bhi alag alag tarike se hai ek jaisa nahi hai jab aap 74th amendment act padhenge to aapko pata chalega okay here we don't need to go into that detail but at least names okay notified town area must satisfy following criterias okay aur ye kya hai general definition of urban area so all the names that you are looking at here these are different types of urban area that census recognizes aur ye cheez aap इसमें पढ़ेंगे ठीक है बहुत लंबा चौड़ा है एक लेक्चर उसी पे लग जाए इतना लंबा है ठीक है तो वो पॉलिटी में आप पढ़ेंगे सो फर्स्ट इज मिनिमम पॉपुलेशन इज 5000, थाउजेंड राइट डाउन फर्स्ट क्राइटेरिया मिनिमम पॉपुलेशन मिनिमम पॉपुलेशन ऑफ 5000, थाउजेंड वर्किंग मेल पॉपुलेशन फीमेल पॉपुलेशन को अभी भी हम कंसीडर नहीं कर रहे हैं वर्किंग मेल पॉपुलेशन ओके ओवरऑल इज 5000 वर्किंग मेल पॉपुलेशन इन नॉन एग्रीकल्चरल एक्टिविटीज जो एग्रीकल्चर से अलावा इन नॉन एग्रीकल्चरल एक्टिविटीज दे आर 75% at least 75% male okay and minimum population density minimum population density minimum population density 
फोर हंड्रेड पर्सन पर स्क्वायर किलोमीटर ओके बट दिस इज नॉट लिमिटेड टू दिस because if you'll go to the north east state north east india by this definition it will be very difficult to find even 20 towns theek hai aap 20 bhi nahi khoj payenge by this definition so the government may by notification okay by the government by notification can declare any area as municipality corporation or notified town area even if they do not follow these criteria okay so write down itna likhne ke baad niche likhiye the government the government the government by notification by notification can declare a municipality can declare a municipality corporation a notified town area even if the area doesn't meet all the criteria even if an area doesn't meet all the criteria even if the area doesn't meet all the criteria okay full stop change the para the government of india the government of india while publishing the census while publishing the census okay to so government of india kya hai census khud bana rahi hai aisa nahi hai there is a agency but this is doing in behalf of government isliye hum likh rahe hain the government of india while publishing the census okay census bureau ye kaam karta hai on behalf of government the government of india while declaring an area as an urban area uses united nations classification uses united nations classification united nations classification of the urban centers theek hai though it is not perfect for india but hame aadat hai theek hai abhi 1860 61 ka pura law hamare yahan chal raha hai aur hum badal nahi rahe theek hai to hamare yahan aisa hi chalta hai ठीक है 75 फाइव ईयर्स हो गए 80 ईयर्स हो जाए 150 फिफ्टी ईयर्स हो जाए जैसा एटीट्यूड है बहुत सारी चीजें वैसे ही चलेंगी जो ब्रिटिश दे के गई है ओके वी आर नॉट सोइंग मच विलिंगनेस टू चेंज द थिंग्स ओके मेनी टाइम्स इवन व्हेन दे आर ड्रैकोनियन ओके एंड दिस इज द रीजन दैट द कॉमन मासेज हैव वेरी लेस पावर वेन इन फ्रंट ऑफ द ब्यूरोक्रेसी ओके और इवन एनी ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट एग्जीक्यूटिव लेजिस्लेचर और ब्यूरोक्रेसी से आदमी की कोई ताकत नहीं है ओके इवन जुडिशरी फिल इंक्लूड नॉर्मल पीपल हैव नो से ठीक है जब चाहे पकड़ के गला दबा दो ऐसा ऐसे भी लॉज हमारे यहां एग्जिस्ट करते हैं ओके लॉर्ड ऑफ देम सो क्लास एंड पॉपुलेशन क्लास वन क्लास टू क्लास थ्री ऐसे टाउन्स है बट ये डेफिनेशन भी क्या है मिसफिट है ओके सो लॉ ऑफ चेंजेस आर रिक्वायर्ड इन द वे वी हैव बीन मेकिंग द लॉज एंड इंप्लीमेंटिंग द लॉज लेकिन वही है कि रिफॉर्म के लिए सब एक साथ आने चाहिए 
और हमारे यहां अपोजिशन लिटरल सेंस में अपोजिशन होती है अच्छा काम करेंगे तब भी अपोज करो ठीक है एंड दिस इज नॉट रिलेटेड टू एनी पार्ट ऑल द पार्टीज आर लाइक दिस ठीक है सो एवरी स्टेट इवन एट सेंटर यूल सी दैट द बेस्ट ऑफ द पॉलिसीज विल बी अपोज Without giving any reason, they'll just oppose because they have to oppose. And this is not letting India change. Okay, so class one to class six, hai. class one, two, three, four, five, six. now the population if it is above 1 lakh okay and this is below 5000 okay jisko hum notify karke declare kar denge bol rahe the wo notification se below 5000 hua to okay yahan 50000 to 99999 then 20 to 49 okay then 10000 to Okay, and finally five thousand to nine 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 nine. And if there is a question related to the census definition, you got to make sure that you are writing this thing. We have seen in past that there was a direct question on this. Okay, so everybody is clear. like i said will be today covering all the things which are general in nature which can come in both prelims and mains okay now growth of metros in india and i think that once we have discussed this thing okay so without wasting much time traditional metros everybody is aware चार हैं इसमें किसी को डाउट है ओके एंड दिस वाज गिवन बाय द एक्सपेंडिचर डिपार्टमेंट क्राइटेरिया गिवन बाय एक्सपेंडिचर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्री ओके फाइनेंस मिनिस्ट्री ने इसको पेंशन देने के लिए बनाया था फॉर द पर्पज ऑफ पेइंग पेंशन सो दिस इज नॉट सम क्राइटेरिया बेस्ड ऑन द पॉपुलेशन ऑफ इन एरिया सो इन विच सिटी हाउ मच पेंशन विल बी पेड टू द पीपल वॉज द क्राइटेरिया इन ऑर्डर टू गेट द ट्रेडिशनल मेट्रोज ओके दिस इज चेन्नई दिल्ली मुंबई कोलकाता ठीक है वो चारों का नाम खुद लिख लेंगे एवरीबडी इज अवेयर या धीरज बेटा दिस इज द केस ओके एंड दिस इज द ओनली लीगल डेफिनेशन बाय द गवर्नमेंट द ओनली लीगल डेफिनेशन बाय द गवर्नमेंट
okay and next pay commission expanded the list over time okay so in 2007 bangalore and hyderabad were included okay and the criteria that they used if we use it today aaj ki date mein aapke kam se kam 15 20 shahar ko declare karna hoga and this is the problem that no more cities are being declared as metros okay so we have ahmedabad okay comma pune eight metros officially or in line to bahut sare hain okay jaipur and surat in all possibilities they have to be declared as okay ye jo criteria tha jaipur and surat a almost equaling these in every respect okay and if we talk about jaipur and surat just piche aapke kanpur lucknow bhopal chandigarh every city every big city that you know in india so this criteria is problematic so today 42 cities are there in india which need to be declared metros based on population as well as economic growth but this has to be seen when it happens okay so reports various reports have confirmed this thing various reports suggest this thing and this is a big problem right अब बयालीस को मेट्रो डिक्लेयर करेंगे तो बहुत सारा करना होगा एंड दिस इज द रीजन दैट इंस्टेड ऑफ द थिंग व्हिच वी वर डूइंग मेट्रो नाउ द फोकस ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट इज टू मेक श्योर दैट वी आर कमिंग अप विथ समथिंग सब्सटैंशियल विच चेंजेस द वे वी लुक एट सिटीज सो द स्मार्ट सिटी कॉन्सेप्ट हैज बीन इंट्रोड्यूस्ड ठीक है ये इतनी बड़ी दिक्कत है कि गवर्नमेंट को इसलिए स्मार्ट सिटी डिक्लेयर करना होगा ओके नाउ वी हैव लुक्ड एट द अर्बन एरियाज नाउ विल बी लुकिंग एट द प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ द अर्बन सेटलमेंट like i said here we are looking at all the topics that can be asked in gs as well and just after completing this thing we'll venture into the theories which will become very specific for the optional theek okay, hai we'll do it today only if time permits but still we have lot of time ye jaldi jaldi bataiye
problems with the policy is there no uniform policy measures are there for every aspect there are different things we see this thing the draft urban policy jitni bar bhi banaya gaya hai kabhi bhi completeness dikhai nahi di hai sabse badi dikkat housing okay policy framework to hai but policy ko main likh isliye nahi raha hu because the government is on its way to come up with a national policy to wo update wahan se karenge housing ki agar hum baat karte hain okay सबसे बड़ी दिक्कत तो हाउसिंग है हाउसिंग दिल्ली अलोन फेसेस शॉर्टेज ऑफ फाइव लैक हाउसेस इज शॉर्ट ऑफ फाइव लैक हाउसेस बाकी तो आप छोड़ दीजिए सिर्फ एक शहर पांच लाख घर कम है ओके एंड इवन इफ द हाउस इज देयर ओके द सिटीज आल्सो सफर फ्रॉम हाउसिंग पॉवर्टी ना वॉट इज हाउसिंग पॉवर्टी न्यूज में आता है ये वॉट इज हाउसिंग पॉवर्टी जब हम स्लम कहते हैं okay slums you know that places where which are not very safe for human habitation okay but when we talk about housing poverty inherently jaisa slum mein bhi kya hai individual safety is included in the definition but yahan focus kya ho jata hai when we talk about housing poverty this is individuals and households who lack safe and secure residences or infrastructure okay so individuals and households that that new who do not have access to safe and secure infrastructure okay jahan wo rehte hain wahan safe or secure infrastructure nahi hai so this is another problem so cities many of the infrastructure are risky in case there is a hazard many of the people can die this is another problem that india faces okay if we talk about the other factor it is overcrowding almost 35% of the families live in single room houses pura ka pura parivar at an average 35% of the population lives in single room houses five members of the family living in a single room matlab pura ghar hi ek kamre ka hai okay 39% of the married couples do not have an independent room for their own 39% married couples do not have separate room
okay so this is the problem with the urban centers unemployment to sabko pata hai urban areas are suffering from unemployment okay to ye to aap bahut sara likh sakte hain easily rampant unemployment and the problem with urban areas is that the educated are more unemployed the educated population suffers worst employment scenario जिसने भी टेंथ पास किया है उनकी ज्यादा बुरी हालत है ओके बिकॉज दोज हु हैव नॉट टेकन एनी फॉर्मल एजुकेशन दे गो फॉर सम ऑफ द एक्टिविटीज विच डू नॉट रिक्वायर एनी स्किल ओके बट द एजुकेटेड पॉपुलेशन पढ़ाई की सबसे बड़ी दिक्कत क्या है क्यों एम बी ए चाय वाला ही फेमस हुआ ओके और मे बी इंजीनियर चाय वाली एंड एवरी थिंग दैट केम आफ्टर why they are only famous the reason is that your education stops you from doing certain activities from taking certain vocations from doing certain jobs theek hai log bolte hai degree hai ye kar raha hai to aap dhar jate hain okay hum desi log kaise hain ki apna man kya kar raha hai ghar wale kya bol rahe hain isse matlab nahi hai padosi ne bol diya to ekdam dard ho jayega dil mein aur acha kaam bhi nahi karenge kyunki padosi kya kahega okay so this is a big problem with india the people who are more educated they have less avenues of employment okay slums apne aap mein ek bada problem hai okay so this is we are going to read whole topic hi hum alag se padhne wale hain okay to isko main yahan aise hi chhod de raha hu transport and traffic agar hum transport ya traffic ki baat kare okay so if you look at the roads okay so there is a concept of road length ki ek gaadi khadi hai to dusri gaadi kitni dur hogi okay if many of the vehicles are there on the road then what is the average distance if all the vehicles are put on the road agar sari gaadiyon ko ek bar main road pe khada kar de to at an average to pan india level pe the scenario is really really bad okay so urban planners believe that in present scenario the people walking on feet move much faster then the cars in many parts of the urban areas okay jam mein phase honge aap sabhi okay all of you so if we look at the years and road length per vehicle okay so there was a time when in 1970s okay if there are two vehicles on the road to wo 2 km dur hoti hai ek dusre se okay so this road length per vehicle was 2 km so if one vehicle is here after 2 km only you can find another vehicle theek hai average mein hum baat kar rahe hain aisa nahi hai ki sab 2 2 km chhod ke chal rahi hain but itni kam gaadiyan thi कि हर दो किलोमीटर के डिस्टेंस पे एक एक गाड़ी रखा जाए एंड दिस रिड्यूस्ड टू 1.3 पॉइंट थ्री किलोमीटर्स इन 
and as the time passed by the time we reached 2000 this was 0 0.68 kilometer okay and the times that you are seeing today 2020 it is just 0 0.21 kilometers okay so the problem is like the number of vehicles are increasing with such speed that the construction that the government is doing is not looking effective fly over bhi ban gaya niche bhi road hai upar bhi road hai ring road hai bahut sare road hai outside city inside city expressways and everything and is still in the urban areas this is something what is being reflected it means that a lot of vehicles are being purchased today a lot more number of vehicles are running on the road so in many of the urban areas like delhi okay every some of the families you'll see that they have four vehicles five vehicles everybody has a single vehicle okay so this is something which is problematic in urban area okay if we talk about another problem the problem of sewerage sewage problem okay ab 40% of the population don't have access to this have no access so they are living in the areas which are like what which are dirty jahan bimariya ho sakti hai okay so they live in polluted areas okay most of the sewage is left to flow in the rivers it flows to the rivers this is another problem log to gandagi mein rahi rahe hain jo ja raha hai wo bhi kya seedhe nadi mein ja raha hai to wo jahan jahan nadi ja rahi hai wahan wahan gandagi ja rahi hai okay now pollution ka to kuch kehna hi nahi hai okay if we talk about the urban centers of india out of top 20 you will find that 10 12 are in their top peak kar jate hain pollution mein har saal naya report aata hai okay now poverty crime water shortage stress you can go on but itna likh nahi payenge to last mein exam mein aisa other factors likhna hai aur bas naam likh denge sabko explain to kar nahi sakte okay there are so many reasons so many things that are problematic okay manageable hai and this is something jo bahut baar pucha gaya hai lot of times this question has been asked okay not only in optional but in gs as well okay now let us talk about slums क्या है स्लम क्या होता है वट इज अ स्लम के स्लम विल सी द डेफिनेशन विल लुक एट द वेरियस परस्पेक्टिव बाई विच इट कैन बी डिफाइंड क्या समझते हैं आप स्लम से वॉट इज अ स्लम
एवरीवन हाँ धीरज बेटा स्लम क्या है व्हाट इज स्लम सबने सुना होगा इसके बारे में बट व्हाट ओके अभी क्राइम के बाद अर्बन स्प्रॉल भी आप उसमें ऐड कर सकते हैं सम ऑफ यूर लाइक लड़ाई झगड़े तो करते ही हैं शहरों में वॉट इज अस्लम नो वन इज अवेयर ऐसा कैसे हो सकता है आशुतोष ओके एरियाज वेर नो प्रॉपर फैसिलिटीज आर डेयर ओके हैविली पॉपुलेटेड अर्बन एरिया ओके कैरेक्टराइज बाय सबस्टैंशियल नंबर ऑफ सब स्टैंडर्ड हाउसेज ओके यूएन बहुत सिंपल डेफिनेशन देता है UN habitat पहले इसकी डेफिनेशन देखते हैं फिर इंडिया में क्या है वो देखेंगे ओके सो हेविली पॉपुलेटेड एरिया कैरेक्टराइज बाई सब स्टैंडर्ड हाउसिंग राइट डाउन ए हैविली पॉपुलेटेड एरिया ए हैविली पॉपुलेटेड एरिया ए हैविली पॉपुलेटेड एरिया characterized by substandard housing characterized by substandard housing okay this is a very easy definition and i want everyone to make sure that you are remembering this but do remember that india specifically has a act related to slum okay and it is in place since 1956 it means that you have to understand that slum is not some problem which emerged after independence india was already suffering from this problem in all the cities which were lakh plus in miss all the 80 cities 76 lakh plus cities and four traditional metros in 1947 had slums okay so slum act Nineteen fifty-six. Okay, this is the shorter version. Iska pura naam hai Slum Areas Improvement and Clearance Act. Slum Areas Improvement and Clearance. And this word is important. Improvement and Clearance Act, nineteen fifty-six. Okay, by reading this name only, you can be very clear that the government wanted to clear the urban centers of these slums. ठीक है, improve करना या फिर हटा देना. दोनों एजेंडा था. जहाँ पे हटा सकते हैं, वहाँ हटा दो. बढ़ने मत दो. Okay. So Slum Act, nineteen fifty-six. so it defines the slum area in indian towns and cities okay the first two criteria are there okay if any area meets both the criteria it is called as slum so first one write down any area jo fit na ho theek hai in any respect for human habitation an area write down an area in any respect an area in any respect 
an area in any respect unfit for human habitation an area in any respect unfit for human habitation okay aur uske baad kya hai the second part wants to define ki unfit kaise ho sakta hai okay how it is unfit why it is not good by the reason of overcrowding by the reason of faulty design of the houses theek hai ye zaruri nahi hai ki sab thoos ke bhare hue hain tab islam hai aadha teda ghar banaya hua hai jo kabhi bhi dangerous hai ek gira to baki sabko leke chala gaya that kind of residences many of the people think that the single storied houses only are considered this thing but if you'll go to the chols in mumbai if you'll look at the some of the jhuggi jhopdi in delhi you'll see that this is not what you think of a slum ki boriyon ke ghar bana ke log reh rahe hain teen floor ka ghar bana diya hai jo kabhi bhi gir sakta hai okay so second part area by reason of area by reason of over crowding over crowding faulty arrangement and design faulty arrangement and design faulty arrangement and design of such buildings of such buildings of such buildings which are detrimental theek hai wo negative hai lekin only respect to risk ki mere upar building giri to main gaya this is not the thing which is detrimental not only from the perspective of health but also from the perspective of morals theek hai koi apne ghar mein kya kar raha hai aap jhaag ke roz dekh sakte ho ओके okay, और इतना मेच्योर नहीं है जो स्लम में रह रहे हैं वो एजुकेटेड नहीं है ठीक है तो वहां क्या है आपकी मॉरलिटी भी खत्म हो जाती है ओके okay? तो ये चीज भी ध्यान में रखते हुए इंडियन गवर्नमेंट ने इसको डिफाइन किया है ओके okay? तो दिस इज नॉट सम एवरेज डेफिनेशन लाइक वेस्ट डिफाइन इट वी आर नॉट ओनली कंसर्न अबाउट द हेल्थ द एजुकेशन और द सेफ्टी ऑफ द पीपल वी आर ऑल्सो कंसर्न अबाउट द मोरल दैट moral turpitude that that region can bring in the people who are residing there okay so waha faulty design of such buildings which are detrimental of such buildings which are detrimental to safety health and morals to safety health and morals okay so whenever you are talking about this thing you have to highlight the definition included by india okay what united nation defines is limited to health okay but we are more ethical in our definition because we have included morals as well baki wahan pe humne dekha abhi un habitat wo safety aur health tak limited hai okay almost all the towns in india are affected by this problem okay almost all the towns in india as well as world ki bhi aap baat kar sakte hain most of the cities and towns in world are affected by the problem of slums okay agar hum india ka example lete hain so write that statement yourself your many countries many states this or that jo man kare wo statement likhiye but it has to convey that almost all the cities around the world are affected by this thing अगर हम इंडिया की ही बात करते हैं स्टेट वाइज लेते हैं स्टेट्स एंड नंबर ऑफ रिकॉग्नाइज्ड स्लम्स ओके सो लास्ट सेंसस की हम बात कर रहे हैं अब तो और बढ़ गए होंगे वी आर टॉकिंग फ्रॉम द पर्सपेक्टिव ऑफ 2011 सेंसस अब तो और ज्यादा हो गए यूपी 65 अब तो शायद हर डिस्ट्रिक्ट में हो ओके तमिलनाडु 63 ओके महाराष्ट्र यू हैव 
ये सारे बढ़ गए होंगे अब ओके सो वेन यू अपियर फॉर द एग्जाम एंड इफ दिक्स न्यू सेंसस डेटा इज अवेलेबल यू हैव टू अपडेट ठीक है क्योंकि सेंसस का डेटा बहुत लेट हो गया रिलीज होने में बट इट विल ओके नाउ वेस्ट बंगाल फिफ्टी वन एम पी फोर्टी टू मध्य प्रदेश हैज फोर्टी टू एम पी फोर्टी टू तो ये क्या दिखा रहा है ओके कि स्लम्स हर जगह है बट डू यू थिंक ऑल द स्लम्स आर सेम हर स्लम एक ही जैसा होता है ठीक है ऑल द स्लम्स आर सेम Okay, we'll look at the factors which create the slum. But tell me, do you think that all the slums that you know are similar? Sub same hai. Not all of them are same. Okay. So GS me, you say similar man ke likh dete hain. But when it comes to optional, you don't have to do that. The slums have a life cycle. Okay. The very initial stage is called as squatter settlement. मतलब बहुत सारे लोग आके जैसे तैसे घर बना के रहने लगते हैं. Okay, we'll see the stages. Okay, squatter settlement सबसे पहला stage है. Okay, then a lot more people come here. Things degrade, but still there are chances you can improve the area. We call such type of slums as slum of hope okay then it further deteriorates theek hai aur zyada log aate hain aur gandi halat mein log rehte hain so it becomes a slum of despair okay this is a stage where there are no moral values left kuch bhi chal raha hai crime का स्पॉट है वो प्रोस्टिट्यूशन स्टार्ट हो चुका है हर गंदी चीज जो आप सोच सकते हैं वहां हो रही ओके एंड फाइनली इट डिग्रेड्स इनटू समथिंग जिसको रिवर्स करना नेक्स्ट टू इंपॉसिबल है ओके सो इट बिकम्स ए सेंटी टाउन ओके सो दीज आर द स्टेजेस ऑफ slum or phases of slum okay the various phases so is quite a settlement these are semi permanent houses isko aap chahe to abhi rok sakte the okay many a times if you move in an area where new road is being constructed or some project is there you'll see that laborers make certain houses which after the construction they remove okay but if economic opportunities emerge along that roads they stay there okay and they'll try to stay there forever so this is the situation where semi permanent houses are there so the nature of the housing is semi permanent here yahan ka situation bahut kharab nahi hui hai the situation is not worst okay but they are unplanned the housing is unplanned along some road or some industrial area okay so if the government is aware okay if the government is aware it can take some actions to stop this thing यहां पे आप क्या कर सकते हैं ठीक है यहां रोक सकते हैं बिकॉज दिस इज लीस्ट डेंस अमंगस्ट ऑल द स्लम्स दिस इज द इनिशियल स्टेज ये बस शुरुआत है ओके इफ द सिटीज टेक रेस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी दे ट्राई टू स्टॉप दिस थिंग दे कैन स्टॉप दिस थिंग 
here. Okay. अब ये कैसा है मैंने ये टाइम्स यू सी न्यूज दैट द गवर्नमेंट हैज रेगुलराइज ए कॉलोनी ठीक है आप सुनते हैं ना द कॉलोनीज हैज बीन रेगुलराइज बाय द दिल्ली गवर्नमेंट इट ऑफ एन हैपेंस मेनी ऑफ द सिटीज रेगुलराइज अ कॉलोनी इट मींस दैट हियर द द सिविक एम्यूनिटीज कैन बी प्रोवाइडेड and there is a possibility of planning okay this is not completely lost yahan kya hai kuch ghar ko hataya kuch ko adjust kiya to beech mein space aa gaya khidki aa gayi that kind of thing can be done okay so civic amenities at least aap provide kar sakte ho okay and people can be shifted to another area possibility of shifting the population to another area hopeless area nahi hua hai ye ठीक है दिस इज नॉट ए होपलेस एरिया यहां आप अभी भी कुछ कर सकते हैं देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी दैट यू कैन शिफ्ट द पॉपुलेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल ओखला एंड गौतम नगर इन दिल्ली आज की डेट पे ये क्या है थोड़ा इंप्रूव हो गए ओखला गौतम नगर इन दिल्ली सो टुडे दे आर ट्रांसफॉर्म्ड टुडे नॉट ए स्लम सो दिस इज समथिंग विच इज स्लम ऑफ होप ठीक है अब स्लम ऑफ डिस्पेयर वेरी क्लोज हाउसेस कंप्लीट एबसेंस ऑफ फैसिलिटीज absence of basic amenities planning planning ka koi chance nahi hai okay yahan bahut difficult ho chuka hai population itna ho gayi hai ye kya hai ki water logging drinking water issues okay all the problems diseases drinking water issues all kind of problem that you can think of is there jo slum ki ek definition mein aap jante hain okay and this is this has become perennial generations after generations start living in this area yahan kya shuruaat thi jo aaya tha wahi ji raha hai yahan this has become generational okay people are being born here they are dying here the children are here okay permanent nature ka setup ho gaya hai ye perennial problem for generations this is much more visible in the basties of kolkata चॉल्स ऑफ मुंबई ओके एंड सेंटी टाउन दिस इज अ होपलेस सिचुएशन यहां क्या है नाउ दिस स्लम ऑफ डिस्पेयर इनक्रोचेस द नाइबरिंग एरियाज द स्लम ऑफ डिस्पेयर बिकम्स बिगर and bigger
ओके धारावी धारावी इन मुंबई ठीक है चॉल्स हर जगह पे हैं छोटे छोटे जो बनते हैं बट धारावी की अगर हम बात करते हैं तो धारावी क्या है बहुत बड़ा है सेंटी टाउन यूरोप में हम कहते हैं धारावी इन मुंबई सेंटी टाउन इन यूरोप राइट नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल सेंटी टाउन इन यूरोप ओके कॉटन टाउन इन मैनचेस्टर ओके यूरोप में कॉटन टाउन भी बुलाते हैं हम कॉटन टाउन इन मैनचेस्टर कॉटन टाउन इन मैनचेस्टर Cotton towns in Manchester. Cotton towns in Manchester. Okay, so if we talk about this category, so यहाँ पे क्या है? India में only Dharavi will come. Okay, but अगर हम countries और fourth वाले में ये सारे example लिख लेंगे. Okay, countries and twenty towns. so this mammoth development of slum hamare yahan sirf mumbai mein ek dikhai deta hai baki agar aap dekhenge to in venezuela they are called as ranchos myanmar ye har us jagah dikhai dega jo disturbed country hai ओके कैपिटल्स मोस्ट ऑफ द कंट्रीज हु हैड सीन और एक्सपीरियंस्ड ए ब्लडी हिस्ट्री बिकॉज ऑफ कॉलोनियलिज्म और सम अदर रीजन वहां दिखाई देगा ओके जर्मनी में अपने में ही ईस्ट जर्मनी वेस्ट जर्मनी डिवीजन हुआ था दे फॉट सिविल लाइक सिविल वॉर लाइक सिचुएशन सो ब्लेजरकर्ग ओके सेंटी टाउन्स तो पूरे यूरोप में बोला ही जाता है फेबिलोज इफ यू टॉक अबाउट ब्राजील फेबिलोज ओके सो यूजल लोकल नेम्स की अगर हम बात करते हैं तो सिटीज इन इंडिया स्लम पॉपुलेशन एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट लोकल नेम्स ओके वट डू यू थिंक हाउ मच परसेंटेज ऑफ दिल्ली इज स्लम पॉपुलेशन और हाउ मच पॉपुलेशन ऑफ मुंबई इज स्लम पॉपुलेशन क्या लगता है आपको वाइल्ड गैसेस कितना लगता है कितने होंगे स्लम्स में हा धीरज बेटा वहां सबसे ज्यादा शहर हैं यूपी में आपको पता होना चाहिए कि सबसे ज्यादा शहर हैं इसलिए वहां सबसे ज्यादा स्लम है यूपी इज ए वेरी बिग स्टेट इफ यू लुक एट द economy of the state the total amount of money that up generates is second after mumbai sorry maharashtra theek hai sabse jitna agar total amount of money ki baat kare to up second number pe aata hai but itni badi population hai ki per capita income kam ho jata hai okay lot of thing many cities are there agriculturally most developed industries are there but such a huge population that sab paisa bat jata hai What do you think? Mumbai, forty-five percent of the population. Okay. 
चॉल्स में रहती है दिल्ली 43-44 परसेंट ठीक है झुग्गी झोपड़ी में रहती है ओके इफ यू टॉक अबाउट कोलकाता 42 परसेंट लिव्स इन बस्तीज Chennai, the only traditional metro with less than forty percent of the population living in slums. Cherry, cherry बुलाते हैं. Cherries नहीं है. Basti, cherry ये S तो many of them represent करने के लिए लिखा है मैंने. चौल बुलाते हैं झुग्गी झोपड़ी बुलाते हैं तो दिस इज चौल झुग्गी झोपड़ी बस्ती चेरी दीज आर द नेम्स ओके सो यू कैन सी दैट दिस कंडीशन कैन हैपन विथ एनी सिटी विच इज डेवलपिंग एट अ फास्ट पेस एंड दिस इज द रीजन दैट स्लम इज वन ऑफ द टॉप थिंग्स विच द गवर्नमेंट वॉन्ट्स टू गेट रीड ऑफ ओके okay? और ऐसे ही तो आप कर नहीं सकते हैं कुछ तो करना होगा ओके okay? तो क्या करेंगे ये बनते क्यों है ठीक है वट आर द कॉजेज बिहाइंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ स्लम्स जल्दी जल्दी खत्म करेंगे इस टॉपिक को बताइए अभी आप लोग कॉजेज बिहाइंड डेवलपमेंट ऑफ स्लम्स What are the causes? Okay, we'll complete this topic and then we'll leave. So, time is slowly, slowly growing. So, be ready. Food left hand. We'll start eating from left hand. We'll start eating from left hand. We'll start eating from left hand. We'll complete this topic, and then we'll leave. Not before that, because tomorrow I plan to start with a little discussion of the smart city, and then we'll directly jump to the theories. Yeah, फिर मैं theory से भी start कर सकता हूँ और फिर बाद में smart city concept देखेंगे. Causes behind development of slums. अभी दिल्ली की अगर आप बात करें तो ठीक है बगल में पूरा लैंड है मुंबई में कहा जाएगी पब्लिक ओशन में ओके माइग्रेशन इज देयर वन ऑफ द मेजर कॉजेज इज माइग्रेशन लॉ ऑफ पीपल रीच दीज एरियाज बट लैंड इज अनदर फैक्टर ओके एंड दैट टू वेन द जोग्राफिकल कॉन्स्टेंट इज देयर so if migration is added to is people are migrating to an area which has geographical constraint to kya hoga okay slum population will increase ha huh, very good dheeraj beta social behavior हाँ सोशल बिहेवियर की आप बात कर सकते हैं अर्बन पुअर कंसीडर दैट वी आर लिविंग इन अ सिटी इंस्टेड ऑफ ए विलेज दिस इज आल्सो ए बिग प्रॉब्लम दे डू नॉट नेसेसरली अर्न मोर ओके बट द परसेप्शन ऑफ परसेप्शन दैट Urban life is better than
rural life. This perception forces many of the people to stay, even when they are not earning much. In fact, they are earning less and still living in the cities. फिर गांव जाएंगे बोलेंगे मैं बंबई में रहता हूं ओके एंड इट इज अ बिग प्रॉब्लम या आई एम अ बैड टीचर लाइफ कैलकुलस आई डोंट माइंड आई कैन नाइंटी नाइन परसेंट ऑफ द पीपल विल फील द वे यू हैव फेल्ट एंड आई एम थैंकफुल फॉर रिमाइंडिंग मी नॉट एन इशू ओके एनी अदर प्रॉब्लम यू आर फेसिंग सोशल बिहेवियर ओके नाउ द इकोनॉमिक अफोर्डेबिलिटी इकोनॉमिक अफोर्डेबिलिटी दिस हैपन्स टू बी अनदर फैक्टर वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट फैक्टर इन फैक्ट ठीक है मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल कैन नॉट अफोर्ड टू लिव इन द एरियाज वेर द इंडस्ट्रीज आर एंड वेन द इंडस्ट्रीज आर नॉट देअ नियर बाय देन दिल हैव टू स्पेंड अ लॉट ऑफ मनी टू ट्रेवल दैट दे कैन नॉट अफोर्ड सो दे टेन टू मेक वॉट दे टेन टू मेक हाउसेज नियर बाय द रोड्स और अदर transport networks theek hai koi baat nahi dheeraj ke you have to focus on the thing that we are discussing aise log aate rehte hain padhna likhna jinka kaam nahi hai unko judgment dena apni life mein bhale hi bade failure ho sabke bare mein judgment hai unka ek so not to be getting swayed by these things okay don't get swayed focus on the thing that we are covering now the political situations theek hai agar aap dekhte hain many of the political authorities they tend to keep this population poor so that they can be of some use during the times of voting theek hai aapne kya hai ki apna वोट बढ़ा लिया अगर आप उस एरिया में सो पॉलिटिकल वेस्टेड इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द पॉलिटिकल ऑथोरिटीज वेस्टेड इंटरेस्ट ऑफ द पॉलिटिकल ऑथोरिटीज ओके this is vested interest of the political authorities is something that is the reason plus empathy hai hi nahi logon ko theek hai lack of empathy in the people who are in the government even when they know that there is a start of squatter settlement they tend to avoid ठीक है अभी कोई भी एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर है वो जा रहा है आ रहा है तो उसको पता है कि इन सम एरिया देर इज अ डेवलपमेंट दैट इज हैपनिंग ओके स्क्वेटर सेटलमेंट इज देयर सो इफ दे ट्राई बिफोर इट टर्न्स इनटू द स्लम ऑफ डिस्पेयर दे कैन टेक सम एक्शन ओके बट दे चूज नॉट टू सो लैक ऑफ इंपैथी from the people in seats of power theek hai so this is something that becomes the reason theek hai ye sare reason wo karan hai jiski wajah se slum development hota hai okay so if there is a question i hope everybody can write about this thing now the stress on the infrastructure even if the government wants it fails to 
इम्प्रूव द थिंग लेकिन ये हमेशा ऐसा है ओके बिकॉज इफ यू लुक एट द थिंग दैट वी हैव रिटर्न हियर ओके ओखला एंड गौतम नगर दीज वर स्लम ऑफ होप सो इट वॉज इजी टू इम्प्रूव दैट बट अगर हम एग्जाम्पल देखते हैं धारा भी रिक्लेमेशन प्लान हैज हेल्प टू इम्प्रूव दिस एज वेल ओके सो इट इज नॉट लाइक इफ समथिंग बिकम्स द स्लम ऑफ डिस्पेयर इट कैन नॉट बी रिवर्स्ड इवन इफ ऑल टूगेदर इट कैन नॉट बी इम्प्रूव इन पार्ट इट कैन बी डन एंड वी हैव एन एग्जाम्पल इन इंडिया ओनली ओके एंड दिस हैज बिन डन इन ब्राजील इन रियो डी जेनेरियो फ्रॉम विच इंडिया टूक इंस्पिरेशन एंड ट्राई टू do this thing okay so some successful case studies okay reclamation of slum okay reclamation of slum if you look at the case studies not only slum of hope but the slum of despair can also be reclaimed so we'll look at the examples first one we already have seen okhla and gautam buddh nagar in delhi okay these areas were reclaimed by delhi development authority so delhi development authority dda made planned houses and provided it to the slum dwellers and it was achieved with ease theek hai there was not much big problem because this was a still a slum of hope and the features we have already seen humne kya hai ki ye dekh liya hai and today these are regularized colonies with all the urban facilities with all urban facilities okay so slum of hope has a classic example in delhi now some of the areas indian government tried to do this thing with the chols in mumbai theek hai dharavi mein bhi ye karne ki koshish ki thi but it was not easy here this it was difficult to replicate to wahan pe kya kiya hai they used sao polo reclamation plan and liverpool reclamation plan were taken as bases taken as reference okay for improving parts of dharavi okay 
so this was a huge population to so it was not possible to shift them completely okay and here the government took many measures to convince the people that will be able to provide you the thing that you were getting here so southern part of dharavi was improved upon usko pura transform nahi kiya yahan ka jaisa nahi ki hatao aur naya building banao okay so this was more a process where the same setup was improved by the modifications that can be brought to the very same place theek hai jiska jis jagah pe hai wahi mil jaye kyunki wahan bahut badi population thi aapko improve nahi kar sakte the okay you it was not possible to move them to a different area completely and then develop that area and provide them back like has happened here okay so many steps were taken to modify the structures and to bring facilities okay so only southern part of dharavi was reclaimed okay because it was relatively less populated so no proper example where whole slum of despair or finally the sandy towns could be brought back to the original glory theek hai to part mein ye hua hai complete nahi hua hai so yahan ke next kya level hai it becomes difficult abhi bhi try kar rahe hain theek hai dekh still the government and the private sector is trying to improve the slum of despair in mumbai but still it has not been achieved okay and the very plan is called as dharavi reclamation plan theek okay, hai this is dharavi reclamation plan dharavi reclamation plan okay all good yahan tak koi dikkat hai everyone now a quick look at the problems created by slum ab ye kya problems create karengi ye bahut hi aasan hai okay what kind of problems do you think that these can create unemployment poverty unhygienic conditions environmental degradation okay defined behavior crime okay psychological stress law and order situation to crime mein hi aa gaya okay so you can easily put forward some of the points that you might have experienced in all those areas where squatter settlement is there okay no specific thing to jo wahan reh rahe hain uske liye bhi problem hai jo wahan nahi reh rahe hain uske liye bhi problem hai you need to talk about that manageable hai i hope okay and a smart city and every program that you know for urban area they have दिस थिंग ओके उनके में एक एलिमेंट होता है जो स्लम के लिए भी होता है सो वेन एवर यू आर रीडिंग द न्यूज पेपर्स मेक श्योर दैट यू आर गोइंग थ्रू द 
पॉलिसीज स्वच्छ भारत मिशन जब आप पढ़ेंगे तो उसमें क्या है सफाई की बात हो रही है तो अर्बन एरिया के लिए होगा ओके स्मार्ट सिटी में की अगर आप बात करेंगे उसमें भी होगा अर्बन रिन्यूअल मिशन के नाम से पहले चलता था अभी अमृत के नाम से है उसमें भी क्या है कि इस्लाम इज एल दिस हाँ धीरज बेटा वेरी गुड वेरी गुड यू रिमेंबर लॉट ऑफ पॉइंट एंड दैट इज गुड ठीक है एटलीस्ट ह्यूमन ज्योग्राफी में सोच के पॉइंट लेके आप आना इज अ एडवांटेज ओके एंड एवरी वन हैज टू लर्न दिस थिंग फ्रॉम धीरज ओके इवन सुमन बेटा यू आर गोइंग इन राइट डायरेक्शन सो ऑल गुड सो दिस इज समथिंग विच वॉज कॉमन फॉर बोथ जी एस एंड ऑप्शनल एंड फ्रॉम टूमोरो विल बी फोकसिंग ऑन थिंग्स विच आर गोइंग टू बी मोर स्पेसिफिक एंड इवन इन दीज क्वेश्चन यूल बी सपोज टू यूज द कॉन्सेप्ट दैट वी रीड लेटर ठीक है शुरू वाले में मैंने करवा के दिखाया था जब मैं आगे पढ़ाऊंगा तो आई टेल यू की वॉट थिंग कैन बी यूज एंड हाउ इट कैन बी यूज ओके and whenever somebody is commenting negatively you don't need to feel bad okay because specifically today some of the admins of my group have blocked people who were disturbing others so these kind of reactions will be there theek hai and some of the people will not feel i am doing justice because i keep asking people to work hard the people who are lazy those who want shortcut i can never be a good teacher for them I don't want to be even teacher for them. Those who don't want to work hard, okay? Because this is a reality. This is IAS, UPSC. Nobody can achieve success without the right effort. ठीक है तो आप बच्चे भी परेशान ना हो. And I know how to how to handle people. तो आप पढ़ने पे focus कीजिए. When I feel like I'm okay, I let people do what they want. And when I don't feel okay. the disadvantage with anybody commenting is what he has to type a lot okay so let them do that focus on your studies okay but because i can tell you you can see the telegram a lot of people are missing it was deliberately done because many of the people had reported that they are disturbing others by sending personal messages okay and some of them were blocked because they were advertising too much about the courses that they want to sell and some of the students had reported that they are cheating so these things happen okay unke maine admins ko mana bhi kiya tha ki action mat lijiye wo koi bech raha hai bechne dijiye but they were of the opinion ki sir bahut zyada kar rahe hain ye log या धीरज बेटा सो स्टे फोकस्ड मेहनत करते रहिए आई मेक श्योर दैट ऑल ऑफ यू गेट द राइट थिंग अंडरस्टैंड द राइट थिंग प्रोड्यूस द राइट थिंग व्हेन यू राइट एन एग्जाम ओके बिकॉज हार्ड वर्क विल डेफिनेटली पे यू हार्ड वर्क विल डेफिनेटली पे यू सो सुमन बेटा धीरज एंड एवरी वन एल्स टुमारो विल स्टार्ट विद द थ्योरीज ठीक है हम थ्योरी समझेंगे अभी जनरल परस्पेक्टिव देखा है हमने so maybe be ready for a little extension in the timing of the classes because we have to cover the thing in less time many of the people are appearing for mains aapne group mein khud dekha hai bahut sare bachchon ko tension mein hai ki jaldi thoda khatam ho jaye because they haven't read some of the topics theek hai jahan se bhi unhone padha hai unko clarity nahi hai to unke liye bhi main thoda zyada padha raha hu taki wo cover kar paaye okay so everyone will meet again tomorrow stay healthy stay blessed thank you thank you very much